G'day, Nick Bowditch here. Today, I want to talk about happiness and it comes up a fair bit in the work that I do with people one-on-one -on -one, that people say to me, you know, why aren't I happy? Or, I can't be happy. I, I should be happy. Why, why aren't I happy, you know? And I think it, it, it comes up so often that people feel like they're not happy, feel like they, you know, can't kind of get happy whatever that means, um, or can't find happiness. And I think it comes down to two things. And this might be something that you're kind of going through at the moment too, but I think it comes down to two things. One is expectations and the other is gratitude. Now, I know that's a really woo-woo kind of topic and there's probably people rolling their eyes right now, but bear with me, right? First thing about expectations with happiness is so often now, uh, I speak to somebody or somebody speaks to me about their level of happiness or contentment or whatever. And I, when you cut through what they're really trying to say or what they're really feeling, it turns out that they're just not meeting expectations, whether it's their own or somebody else's or all of our expectations as society or, or their, at least their perception of what that is. Um, you know, they should have been married by now. They should have been successful by now. They should have been wealthy by now. They should have been, who knows what people think they should be or shouldn't be. And because they're not there, it affects their understanding of their own happiness, right? Secondly, though, and more importantly, on social media, people often comparing themselves to somebody's social media life, somebody's highlight reel you know, the very best of somebody's life, which they're putting on Instagram, and they're not putting the hard shit. They're not putting when they're not feeling that great. They're not putting when they have disagreements with people and or when they're at odds with people or just when they're not feeling like they're being the best version of themselves. You know, that stuff tends not to be the stuff that people post on social media and other people can compare themselves to that. So, you know, I'd be really wary um, of comparing your own life and your own existence to somebody else's highlight reel, which is basically their Instagram feed, in more times than not. People are not very genuine about that. They don't, they, 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 you know, they're posting the highlights, they're posting the, the supercut of their life, and, and that can affect our expectations greatly. But the, but the overriding thing still in all of that is our expectations, you know, how we feel where we should be, how we feel about where we are right now, um, how much money's in the bank, what car we drive, any of that stupid shit that really doesn't make any difference in the long term of our life. You know, we don't, we don't, I, I doubt we're going to look back on our deathbed when we're in our 90s and think, fuck, I wish I'd had that car when I was, you know, 25 and because I didn't, I haven't been able to be happy for the last 60 years. That's, that's unlikely to be true, you know? So the first thing, <coughs> excuse me, as I said, the first thing then I think is just understanding our expectations, managing our expectations, and not trying to fit into other people's expectations or their story or where they think we ought to be or who they think we ought to be. And I say that like it's like, oh, I'll just flick my fingers and I'll stop doing that. I know it's harder than that. I know, trust me, that it's harder than that. I tried to fit in for a long, long time. And I really cared about what other people thought for a long, long time. And it made me sick. You know, it still makes me sick now if I slip back into that. So I try not to do that as much as I can. I try not to compare myself to others as much as I can. And certainly when I am comparing myself to others, I especially try not to just compare myself to what I think is their highlight reel. You know, the, the super cut of their life. Secondly, though, is gratitude. You know, so much of our own happiness, so much of my own happiness comes from whether I'm content or not with what I have, whether or not I'm grateful for what I have and who I have in my life. If, if, I'm, if, I'm, not if I'm not grateful for any of that stuff, then it's certainly not making me happy. But it's, the converse is also true that I can make myself happier by expressing and feeling and being aware of my gratitude more. You know, I know it's such a fucking Oprah thing that you have to write a gratitude list. I still do it because it still makes me grateful. When I 
when I physically write down things that I'm grateful for, I'm actually more grateful for them. There's, there's, there's science behind that, right? So I, I do think that our happiness is determined, my happiness, I should say, speak in the eye. I do think that my happiness is determined by my level of gratitude for the things that I have. I do want to do better at that. I do want to make sure that I never get lost in that, you know, I wish I had that, I wish I had that because then I forget what I've got sitting around me, you know, connected to me, both both things as well as people. You know, I can be very grateful for people today. I can be very grateful for things in my life today that, you know, I couldn't be grateful for a little while ago. And it's only because I keep bringing my awareness to that as, as often as I can, as much as I can. So I'm going to try and keep doing that because I know that it's good for me. But if you're in the space where you're sitting and thinking, well, I can't get happy. Why am I not happy? You know, why aren't I happy? I, I would just maybe just interject with those first two things straight away is what are my expectations of happiness? What are my expectations of myself? Are other people's expectations of me weighing on me and changing my life? And then also... Further to that, am I actually grateful for the things that I do have, the things that could make me happy? You know, if, if I get into, if I get too far down the, the spiral of what I should be, what I should have, who I should have near me, who I should be based on somebody else's story or based on somebody else's narrative for my life, then I'm not going to be grateful for that. I'm not going to be content about that. I'm going to be sad. You know, I'm not going to be happy. And and, to, and, you, and I can say to people, you know, chase happiness as much as you can, but if you keep button up against that wall where you are not grateful for what you have and you can't escape other people's expectations of you or your own, then it's going to be very, very, very difficult for you to feel happy. It doesn't mean you're not, but it just means maybe it might be a little bit more difficult to feel happy. And everyone deserves to be happy. Everyone deserves to be happy and feel happy and know what happiness feels like. Uh, and, and you know, so many people I feel like they could be happier if they were just more aware and, uh, just more aware of what makes them happy and more grateful for what they have. I know that's a bit, you know, woo-woo and whatever, but I, I'm sticking by it. You know, the more, the more often that I think about what I'm grateful for, the more grateful I am. The more that I write, the more times I write down physically with a pen and paper, I write down the things that I'm grateful for, the more that makes me more grateful for those things. And that all ties up into making me happier, feel happier, feel more content, feel more connected to myself and to other people. And in the end, that is what's going to make me happy. Being with other people, getting from other people what I need, giving to other people what they need um, is all going to make me happier. I hope you have some happiness today. I hope you can find some happiness, even even if it's not by adjusting your expectations or being more grateful or, or working on your gratitude. However you do it, we all deserve to be happy. You deserve to be happy today. And I'm hoping really, really from the bottom of my heart that you find some happiness today. Um, because, you know, you're worth it. You deserve it. You're enough for it and it's out there waiting for us. Have a great day wherever you are. Find some happiness. Be kind to each other. See ya.